that's a, a powerful summary of, of the positive uh, achievements of this of this period, and and thank you for that. C Craig, you have a, a quote in your uh, book from a USAID worker uh, talking about all these projects that we embarked on. Uh, this this USAID person said that ninety percent of what the U.S. spent in Afghanistan during his time there was overkill. Um, I want to ask about the question of oversight. We were spending a lot of money. We uh, usually added up in, in over a trillion dollars. What was the oversight of that spending like? And what's the lesson for the future on that issue of making sure we're spending money sensibly and not wasting it? Right. Well, so that quote came from a USAID person who was there during the, the surge time during the Obama administration when we sent 100,000 troops to Afghanistan. And there was also intended to be a, a surge in uh, capacity for building schools, clinics, roads, things like this. Uh, there was another interview with uh, someone, an aid worker, who said, uh, recalled a visiting congressman on a delegation coming in and uh, he, he was actually blaming Congress for this pressure to spend, spend, spend to build up Afghanistan very quickly. And this aid worker complained to the, the member of Congress that, uh, Congressman, you expect me to, they expect me to spend $3 million a day in this Afghan district. This is a place with uh, people live in mud huts with no windows. How can I possibly do this? You know, we were, we were spending too much because there was a rush to get results within a couple years time before uh, the Obama administration could start drawing down troops. Um, you know, the best description of this actually, I think came from uh, General Lutz Lessons Learned interview, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but he said, you know, we're a rich country. Uh, sometimes we can, you know, we can spend an enormous amount, but do we really have to break the bank here? What were we really trying to accomplish that we were just kind of throwing money at the problem in an attempt to fix things uh, at a very rapid time frame, and uh, th that's what I think largely happened when Obama was president. The the irony with nation building is uh, th this phrase kind of has a pejorative meaning, and uh, both Bush and Obama, and also President Trump, they all promised in public that they said we're not nation building in Afghanistan, uh, even though each of them knew to differing degrees that, uh, in fact, we were trying to build up the Afghan state and Afghan institutions, Afghan army. Uh, that's exactly what we were doing. So politically, I think this became a hard sell to the American people that we were engaged in this quote unquote nation building campaign, even though as Ambassador Crocker said, you know, to some degree that was necessary.